E we back with another midday video and after the Oobot video that I did on leaderboards I realized that hey we never did an equivalent from a day so let's do an equivalent from a day because that's actually a reasonable idea so we are here how to get on all the leaderboards on the day hopefully some helpful tips obviously the one that everyone knows is the one we'll start with which is TS TS is some of the first 15 ranked characters. Now, if you don't know what that means, how this works, have a look at your MMR. This will show all of your characters that you have in your harem with the ranks, right? And it'll tell you your average value, which is just, you know, average, adds them all up, divides it by how many you got. Average, easy. And then the top 15 value, this is the one that matters, as you can see, top 15 value, 420, and that's the one I've got on the leaderboard. Right? This server only reset like last week or something, so that's why it's kind of kind of high at the moment. These, these rankings are kind of high. But anyway, um, what it'll do for this is it will add up the ranks of all of your top 15 characters. 2 plus 10 plus 14 plus 17, up until it gets to the bottom of the first page. It won't add in any of these. None of these characters matter. So that means that to get the best top 15 value, you need to have the highest ranked characters. If you do some quick maths, you can figure out that the minimum possible top 15 value is 120. So that'll guarantee you top place on the leaderboard. Um, because that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the way up to 15. Right? So 120 is the lowest score you can get. If I go onto a different server, we can quite easily see that I have, in fact, got 120. There we go. There's me with 120. Obviously, this server kind of doesn't count, but it's just an example. Right. There you go. 120. Happens sometimes even on public servers, but if it's a big server, unlikely to happen. A winning score on a big server is probably about 300, I would say. Something like 300. So I'm getting there here, to be fair, um, but I guess we'll see what happens. Now, if you want to get all the way at the top of this leaderboard more consistently because obviously it's partly due to luck who do you claim who do you not claim um, and of course it's also a lot of it is to do with how active you are how much cackery you've got because that's just who gets the most characters is likely to get the best characters that all makes sense you know if you've maxed out your badges and you've got like all the chaos in the game you know you're gonna get more characters but there is more to it than that because remember I said that it doesn't include any of these characters. So let's say I go up to someone and I say, okay, you have, I don't know, zero two. I will trade you like all of these for zero two. Now, obviously, that's an unfair trade because all of these, these might be worth like 600 kakura each and zero two is only worth maybe like 1,200 at the start of the server. So trading all of these for zero two is huge stonks for the other guy. He's going to gain like two and a half thousand kakura and only give away like 1,000. But, in terms of rank, you don't lose any rank from these, because they weren't counted anyway, and you're going to gain a lot of rank from getting 0 too. In fact, in my case, it'd be 50, 55. So, doing trades like that is really useful for getting rank, um, if that's all you care about, because um, these lower characters might be that someone wants them, it might be that they want Kakura value or whatever, and if all you want is rank for the leaderboard, trading them away for them top 15 characters is super important. Um, you want to make sure you've got all of the top 15. You can even trade away some of the stuff on your top 15 here. I could trade away Esdeath, for example. If I assume that I'm going to be getting top 15s eventually, then it's totally a worth trade, assuming that I'm going for only TS here. You do got to consider trades like that. Of course, remember as well that you can just give Kakura for stuff. Um, so, well, we've checked here. I have 10,000 Kakura. Imagine if I offered 10,000 Kakura for zero two. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal if it's near the start of a server, especially. Right? 10,000 Kakura makes a, a big difference at the start of a server. So people might accept that kind of deal. But now, you know, you're stonking on the leaderboard. So you've got to consider more than just who has the best characters, who has the most characters. If you want to go for this leaderboard, you're probably going to have to screw over your Kakura value a little bit, unless you're really lucky, of course. Um, 
but it's totally possible. You can win this leaderboard every single time a server resets if you're willing to lose a little bit of Kakura from it, Kakura value in your characters. Um, because yeah, you can trade up uh, quite easily. You also have to use your, your, your noggin, you know, think about who wants what. If you know that somebody wants Mitsuru, for example, M Mitsuri, um, then uh, you can use that as a leverage to get some higher characters and slowly work your way up, you know. Um, but if you don't know what anyone wants, then you're kind of stuck. So uh, try and pay attention to who wants what, and you can use the good trades to work your way up the top 15 value. Anyway, if we now move on to the next leaderboard, we'll go through this list, we've got TSL. TSL is basically the same leaderboard, to be honest, I won't lie. This is based on likes. So there's a couple of characters that will make a bigger difference. Um, for example, if we compare top and top L, you see that they are slightly different. Who, who is different here? For example, Satoru. He isn't up here because he's a lot higher in likes than he is in claims. This is the case for a lot of the male characters at the top of the leaderboard. So maybe you want to be going for the male ones if you want like values. But not too many people care about like values, so I assume you aren't going for this one. But it's just something to consider as well. Um, if you do want to go for this leaderboard, look out for maybe some male characters, just anyone else with, with high likes. Uh, there's quite a few characters that have really high likes and really low claims. Uh, Todoroki is not super high on claims right now. Um, Dio, really low in claims. L is really low in claims. Deku is really low in claims. Goku is insanely low in claims. Um, Bakugo is quite low. Tanjiro is quite low. So there you go. Um, a lot of these low 30s here are really low on claims, but really high on likes. So maybe you want to aim for people like this if you're going for the like value, because they're probably easy to trade for, they're not worth so much, especially if you look at Goku. Look at that. He's only 400 Kakura, trading for Goku probably isn't too difficult, but like rank 34. So if you want to get on this leaderboard, maybe look for people like that. Now, TSV is probably one of the most difficult leaderboards to get onto, because this is not something you can do with just trading. Uh, this is something you are actually legitimately going to need to claim the good stuff. Um, this is where you bring out your uh, Kakura badges. You use them to their maximum potential. You're going to have to have that RT cooldown um, with your Emerald badge and with your KLs. That's going to be really important for this one. Also, a lot of perm rolls, really important for this one. You're going to want to use your wish list as effectively as possible. Make sure that your wish list has a lot of high ranked characters on it. Um, and make sure you're not doing this where you've got unclaimed stuff. Uh, or rather, where you've got claimed stuff. And I'll just purge that and we can pick someone else to shove in there. I've got actually two slots, so I could go in here and see who's who's the highest ranked. Uh, we'll just wish Nezuko, shall we? And there we go. And then, I don't know, who else do I want? Um, maybe Miku. Sure. Why not? Go, get, get these high ranked characters into your wish list here. Uh, because that'll help you on the TSV. Uh, now you can use trading, of course, um, if you've got that knowledge that I, that I mentioned earlier, if you know who wants what, because then you can try and trade up in value. Trading up in value is a lot harder than trading up in claims, because especially when likes get involved, like I say, you can trade for people like Goku quite easily. And the same works vice versa. If you find someone with really high claims and really low likes, then trading for them might be not too difficult. For claims, um, but normally people will look at Kakua value because it is an important value. Uh, when they're going to be divorced or at reset, then this is the value that gets taken into account. Um, so trading up in Kakua is kind of difficult, but like I say, if you know that somebody uh, is after a particular character, try and overcharge them for it a bit, you know? Try and get some extra Kakua value off them, maybe an extra ca character. Try and get them to throw extra stuff in. And you can also use the amount of character, uh, Kakua that you've got. I say, okay, I'll trade my 300 worth for your 600 worth, and I'll fill in the difference with Kakua. So overall, the amount of Kakua that you have stays the same. But the TSV value, you're ranking up. You're doing well. So yeah, you're all good there. Next is TSK. TSK, uh, again, is quite a difficult ladder to go up. This is going to take a lot of patience, um, a lot of time, because TSK is just, it's a bit of a grind, you know. Again, the more active you are, the more Kakura you're going to get. So you want to be making sure that you're always reacting 
you're always getting the best reactions, you're always getting the best claims. It's very similar to TSV because obviously at reset, if you're high up on TSV, you know, this value could be quite a lot and it can buff your TSK value quite a lot. So normally the people that are top of TSV often will be the same people that are top of TSK, especially because they're the ones that are spending more time on the bot, bothering to learn what people want, trying to good good trades and get the good claims and the good Kakua reactions. So yeah, this also feeds into TSNBR, but we'll get to that in a minute. TSK also depends a lot on what you do with your Kakua after you've got it because you have to buy your badges in a good order, you have to not spend it on Kakura loots until you've maxed out your levels, and you have to buy the correct uh, tower floors, save up here until you've got level 100 of quality and quantity, and etc. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with Kakura. I have plenty of videos on that. In fact, I'll probably be remaking them soon, so look forward to that where I go through and explain how to get Kakura once again, this time with an upgraded mic. <laughs> um, but yeah, so TSK is uh, is tough to get on, and mostly you're just going to want to grind it out, spend as much time as possible on the bot. Um, but of course, TSK has a lot of strategy to it, um, and in general, TSK is probably uh, the uh, most important leaderboard on the bot uh, because it's the only one that lasts over reset. Uh, all of these other leaderboards here, these are all going to get killed when we get to uh, to reset, you know. But TSK lives on. So, what have we got next? We've got TSY. Let's have a look at TSY, shall we? TSY, as you can see here, um, is the highest key on the server. Um, now, technically, you could be like, oh, I've got the highest key on the server, I'm winning. Uh, but realistically, it actually doesn't matter too much. Um, because, again, especially at reset, all of this stuff will go. As you can see, no one owns the highest key on the server uh, right now here. Um, because they haven't been claimed yet. You know? Um, we're all still waiting to take these... High, uh, high key stuff to get on our soul lists, so um, it'll happen eventually, you know. Um, but yeah, this one, this one doesn't matter too much, so don't worry about it. Um, next, we have uh, TSYB, uh, which is, I guess, similar to this, um, but it basically just shows again who owns the highest key on the server. So it doesn't include this stuff that isn't claimed by anyone, and it only shows one key, but then, you know, you can see who, who's, who's got the highest key, and you can see who perhaps isn't doing so well on the keys, you know? Um, but yeah, it's a very similar leaderboard, so we, we'll, we'll just skip over this one. Now, TSYT, this is an interesting leaderboard. This one actually does make a difference, because if you have a lot of keys overall, then you are stonking. You're getting those gold keys, you're getting them silver keys. Um, if we have a look at info keys, you can see what that kind of stuff does. We've got uh, extra orange reacts, you've got extra Kakura value, and if you've got the level 10 ones, super good, um, Kakura reacts costing half the power as well. So if you've got a lot of keys, then it, it, you're pretty stonks. Um, now, 250 is not a lot of keys, but like I said, this server's only recently reset. If you look at a server that's been going a long time, like here, um, you'll see that you can get quite a lot of keys. And as you can see, I haven't been rolling on this server for months now. So yeah, 16,000 keys is totally doable if you put a lot of work into it, and that is going to be stonks on the keys. Now, you've seen this server plenty of times before if you uh, watch my videos, so I, w I won't go into that there. Um, but yeah, this one does make a lot of difference. In order to get up this leaderboard, however, you mostly just want to claim a lot of stuff. The more that you claim, the more keys you'll get, assuming that you're rolling all the time. Obviously, you need to roll as well to get keys. Uh, this means things like rolling even when you don't have claim. I know a lot of people don't like that, but trust me, it is good to do. You get your purple react, you get your gold keys. Um, you get any key generally, to be fair, but gold keys especially. Um, and you also get things like... Uh, general reacts, you know, if you have Kakura power, you've got your DK, stuff like that, you've got your badges, so general reacts are probably a thing that you're still looking for. So yeah, you've got to roll all the time, and just generally claim a lot of stuff. Um, so yes, this now need, leads us nicely onto the next one, which is TSNBR, the one I mentioned earlier. Uh, so if we have a look at this, again, it shows uh, the number of characters claimed. Uh, they're pretty low right now because the server reset. Um, but this is very closely linked to uh, who has the most keys. Generally, it will be exactly the same order. And you can see here, Steve, 
Ormaster, Showerhead, Dan. Steve, Ormaster. Oh, we've got Dan, Showerhead. Ooh. Wrong way around there. <sighs> Ooh. Clearly Dan has done something good with the keys. Um, who knows? Um, but in general, uh, this will be pretty much the same. You can see Palutena Simp at the bottom here with only two, and at the bottom here with only one. You get that there's a obvious ratio here between the keys ladders and the claims ladder. And there is also a ratio between the claims ladder and uh, TSV, because obviously if you have more claims, you probably have more value. Now this is not entirely dependent, because if you have higher value claims, then you're going to be higher up on here. We've talked about that already. Uh, this is just simply the amount of times you claim. So if you want to be getting high on this leaderboard, there's a couple of things you can do. First of all, again, bit of a grind, just be on active, uh, on a lot, be active, you know, claim every reset, use your RT, you've got to have that RT cooldown again on your Kakara Lutes and on your Emerald 4 and whatever. Uh, use RT as much as possible, claim as much as possible, um, getting good characters obviously is still helpful, but in general you just want to make sure you've claimed something every reset. The other thing you can do, in a similar way to TS, we have a look at your know, MMR here. Let's say I've got some high rank character here like Saber, who I, I don't know, I've not seen Fate, I don't know Saber, I don't care about Saber. I could maybe do the opposite. This is where TS and TS NBR mix and match, because I could say, okay, I'm going to trade Saber for like a bunch of these lower ranked characters. Now, I'm going to go down on TS doing that, because I'm not going to gain rank from these lower characters, and I'm going to lose rank from losing Saber. But I do go up on TS NBR, because I only lose one character, and I gain maybe five. So if you want to go for TS NBR, and your friend wants to go for TS, maybe these are some trades that you can look into doing. One of you takes a lot of the medium ranked characters, and one of you takes all of the high ranked characters. And then overall, one of you gets high on TS, one of you gets high on TS NBR, you're set. Tag teaming in Midday, as always, becomes pretty OP when you apply strategy to it. So yes, getting uh, high on TSNBR is not too difficult. Uh, mostly it does come back down to just being active, um, but of course there's a limit to how active you can be. If you're claiming like maybe six out of eight times every day, and you're using RT like twice a day maybe, let's say, um, and then you know that you know other people are also doing that, there's no real way to get more than that unless you want to stay up. 24-7 and claim every reset, you know, it, it's kind of tough to stay ahead of people um, because there's a, like I say, there's a limit to how much you can claim. So that is the point where you start doing the trades to, you trade down ranks, right, because your TSV values would stay the same and perhaps even go up, uh, but your TSMBR value is going to be going up um, in, in reverse of that. So yeah, works pretty nicely. Uh, now, where's the next leaderboard? TS last claim. Ah, yeah. TS last claim is basically not even a leaderboard. Um, don't worry about it. It basically just says who's claimed more recently. Um, the only time I ever use this leaderboard is to see who has claimed so unrecently that we can remove their uh, her M from the bot. You know, if someone hasn't claimed in like three months, they're probably being wiped. As you can see, I'm failing to be active right here because I haven't claimed in six and a half hours. Oops, I'll probably go and claim something after I've finished this video. Um, but yeah, TS last claim is, is, honestly, I only ever use it for administration stuff. Like, again, just don't worry about it. Uh, so what have we got next? TS ID, uh, that's just TS again, but it says the ID. Oh, one word. Here we go. Yeah, so it's just TS again, but it says the ID. Um, if you don't know how to get IDs, you just right click on someone and there's a copy ID button. You need to have your uh, developer mode on and your user settings. Um, but if you don't want to go to that effort or you just want to check via here, you maybe can't find them on the members list or whatever, then yeah, TS ID is here for you. And you can grab someone's ID and you can, you know, shove that into your commands and see what they've got in their harem or, or whatever you feel like doing. So it's, it's reasonably useful. Then you've got TSW and TSH. These are basically the opposite of each other. Um, as you can see, um, it's the same as, as just regular TS, really. Uh, TSW is for waifus, TSH is for husbandos. I'm not actually on the husbando list at the moment because, you know, the server recently reset and I've been rolling WA, as you probably should do at the start of reset. Apparently, these two have not been doing that, so they've managed to get on there. 
Um, note that people that are double gendered come from both of these leaderboards. Um, so if I do um, MMRH, for example, it's not that I don't own any male characters, it's just most of them are double gendered. Kirby, double gendered. Naran Cat, double gendered. Black Hanakawa, double gendered. Uh, the few that I own that are not double gendered, I probably sniped off other people's roles or something like that, you know? Um, so yeah, you don't have to just claim males to get in here, or just claim females to get in here. But, you know. Um, now, one thing that is nice about the husbando list, because most husbandos are not super high ranked, getting on here is quite easy, actually. Um, if you're finding your server is super competitive, and everyone's going for TS really quickly, um, and you're struggling to get on there, maybe just ignore TS. Ignore TS... Uh, W and go for TSV instead. You start rolling it with your, your HAs, right? And you're getting, you know, whatever characters you want, right? But you're getting the male characters, the male high ranked characters. And some of them are reasonably high ranked. I mean, look at this. We've got more than 15 in the top 100. It's not bad. It's just not insane like TSW, which has like all of them, you know? So, yeah. Uh, you, you can get on TSH uh, pretty easily, especially if people are being smart at the start of reset. They'll be rolling WA anyway, so they probably aren't taking any of these characters, or at least most of them. Um, so yeah, you can just come in there and snipe all the male characters, and overall, you are probably doing worse on TSV and TS and whatever else, and I, I wouldn't advise it. But if you really want to be at the top of a leaderboard, this is maybe the one for you, because if you put your mind to it, getting on the top is, again, not difficult. On the other hand, none of the leads boards are, are hugely difficult to get on, as long as you uh, put your mind to it. Mostly just TSV and TSK are the hard ones. Everything else you can do, as long as you're, you're smart with your trading, smart with your claims, and uh, smart with your Kakarot spending. So, uh, yeah, all in all, leaderboards, good fun. Uh, excellent use of your time, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mare is very beneficial to people, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, most of them are not too difficult to get on, so you, you can probably figure that out. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave this video here. Bye!